This answer is powered by AskQuesty.com. Get help with your Shopify questions or tasks on demand. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to add a subdomain to your Shopify. Maybe you have, you know, your own regular domain and then you want to add a subdomain to, you already have a subdomain that you want to use for your shop um, and you want to use Shopify for that. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's a two-step process. The first step that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go into your hosting admin, okay? Uh, not Shopify quite yet. So if I go to my hosting admin, I'm going to show you what mine looks like. It's going to be different for you uh, depending on uh, what you have. Uh, I know this is a word note. If you have HostGator, uh, you're not allowed to change your DNS settings on HostGator. So you're going to have to contact support for them to add this for you. Um, but if you have something like Bluehost, like me, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Usually what this is called is either zone editor or DNS, setting, DNS settings. Uh, so mine's called zone editor. So what you want to do is you want to go onto the domain, the subdomain that you want to use, and then you're going to want to go to zone editor. Okay. So once you're in, you know, you select the subdomain, etc. You're going to want to change a C name file in here. Now you're not going to want to touch your A, you know, your A record. You're going to want to change the C name record. Okay. Which is the alias. And you can see, I have a C name, C name record already on here um, because this is just an example. Mine's pointing to www, obviously. Um, but what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a C name record on your subdomain. And what this is going to call, whatever it's called, maybe it's, it's you know, shop or it is um, store. So that's what it's going to change to. Okay. And then the most important step is this one right here. What you're going to change this to is shops.myshopify.com. Okay. So that's what it's going to be pointing to. So then you would save this record and then, then you would go into your Shopify. Okay. And then you're going to want to go down to domains and your Shopify admin, you're going to go to domains and then you would click connect existing domain. Okay. And then from connecting existing domain, you would add that subdomain or click to this to show you add the URL that you're connecting to click next. It's going to ask for your, you know, your hosting login details. Um, and then it will say, you know, verified or, you, you know, it might say you need an additional step, etc. But after that, you should be good to go. Then you'll be able to use your subdomain as your Shopify store. Hope that helps and have a great day. Was this helpful? Ask a Shopify question now. AskQuesty.com.